All right, what's up, Hot Squad? And top of the morning. Top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning. And yes, Hot Squad, I see in the title, I finally get a chance to do Blank Boy Reactions. I've seen his um, Avengers Endgame recap with Iron Man, Captain America, and Thor fighting Thanos in the final battle, one of the greatest superhero battles of all time. So I was like, damn, man, this, this man's commentary and any is on point. So I'm going to see one of his latest videos he ever did. And that is, of course, the title, as you see itself. It is How Puss in Boots and Death Turns Retiring Each Other. So, of course, this is a recap of Puss in Boots Last Wish, one of the best movies of the Shrek universe and one of the best animation movies of all time, honestly, and one of the best top 10 movies, honestly, for me, um, of last year, 2022, it came out. So, it, it was definitely, definitely one up there, one of the best animation movies I've ever seen, you know. Better than the first one, which I actually did see on Netflix months ago. Plus, I've seen The Last Wish on Peacock months ago as well. And, damn. It really is the expectations, so it makes me more excited to see, you know, what they're going to do with the Shrek movies. So, this is hands down the best Shrek universe movie since Shrek 2, I would say. Because Shrek 2 is definitely, it's still today my favorite Shrek movie, period. But, Puss in Boots is right up there as well, Puss in Boots Last Wish. So, I'll definitely see a, I'm not, um, see a recap, you know, of uh, Puss in Boots Last Wish, the villain, one of the greatest of his all time, Death the Wolf. So, man, Death the Wolf was freaking... Menacing. I mean, golly, man. Ever since first appearance, when they first fought, whatnot, it was like, oh, man, it's about to go down. So, <laughs> yeah. So, Hot Squad, what we're going to do is now time to check out Blake Boy's Puss and Boots Last Wish recap of Death the Wolf and Puss and Boots Last Wish fights. So, Hot Squad, what we're going to do, let's check this out. It's about to go down. And now, our feature presentation. So my son Puss in Boots is just trying to enjoy his milk after getting some bad news from the doctor earlier. Bro is stressed, he just found out he caught that Itachi Uchiha disease. <laughs> I told bro to stop fucking with that dirty cat from across the street, she's for the litter. His drinking gets interrupted though, by death himself. He was one of the greatest villains of all time, honestly. Man. I'm sitting here thinking, bro, when did he get there? <laughs> How did he just spawn in out of nowhere? <laughs> right. I know Puss started adjusting his mic volume because he ain't hearing no footsteps, had no idea the flank was coming. Well, well, can't believe I get to meet the Puss in Boots. You're even cuter in person. <laughs> <laughs> Puss looking at bro like, who the fuck is this nigga, bro? Look at his face. He's sick, and I get it. All these seats and you choosing <laughs> to sit up right next to me? There's the famous hat. Love the feather, and of course, those Balenciaga boots. You got that shit on. So at this point, my son Puss is thinking to himself, Yo, this nigga is a dick rider. <laughs> uh, thanks. But can you back up, gang? And scoots over because bro's breath is hot as shit finna melt his whiskers off. <laughs> so then he proceeds to ask Puss in Boots for an autograph and I'm thinking to myself, damn, bro, is dick riding all, all you doing? do? <laughs> but really, Death was just letting I'm his him. nuts hang because this wasn't actually some groupie shit. <laughs> he was threatening bro the whole time. I'm serious, yeah, he was. He was. Puss not taking him serious though. This the big bad wolf. Niggas ops is three little piggies. We not worried about bro. You should try and kill your barber instead. Yeah. I know you got brown Damn. beef for hair. Take the hood off. All right, fine. Here. <laughs> Stop. Oh nah, his shit Stop. is crisp. Fade on a hundred. Puss don't stand a chance. So now Gato is low key getting tight because why is niggas playing with him like he's pussy or something? This. Listen, I don't care if you got that Steph Curry light skin ass haircut or not. <laughs> I keep that thing on me, Jord. Look at that <laughs> evil ass smile, bro. Puss in Boots Intimidator badge is clearly not on Hall of Fame or even gold. <laughs> that shit is on aluminum foil because it ain't do shit. <laughs> Anyways, put that toothpick away, gang. There's two options in this scenario. We can do this the easy way, well, we or we can do, can do this hard. the hard way. The choice is yours. Puss in Boots is tired of their talking, and now he ready just to settle this as men. Puss in Boots doing this for everyone back at home. He trying to put far, far away on the map. But bro is in disbelief. He smacked that sword away so fast, I didn't even see what happened. Got him backpedaling, refusing to take his eyes off of him. Hmm. Grabs the sword and calls ISO. He ready this time. Got his tryhard stance <laughs> out and everything. So I'm thinking, okay, he about a clam shit. Shorts rolled up yes. in his tryhard pose. It's rap. 
cops starts charging towards him and that's a weave straight into the lights of the stair. Oh yeah, that's not playing fair today. But some of his part just saying to his asshole, I already know it. You know how in every show or movie there's always that one character who does something that lets you know, oh yeah, his opponent stands no chance? Yep. Like when I saw Killer B rapping mid-fight, I knew right there the Uchiha last name was coming to a screaming halt tonight. Hmm. Or when we saw Trunks appear for the first time and he did the Justin Bieber hair flip on these <laughs> niggas. Oh yeah, Frieza's minions better get to collecting those Dragon Balls real soon. It's up. So when I saw this man <laughs> death this take serious? a sip of his drink mid-fight, I was like, oh, okay, fuck a dog. He got that wolf in him. <laughs> Puss in Blue starts attacking him again and bro's just dodging every single attack while talking shit too. <laughs> Lame ass nigga. Weaving these attacks like future with child support money. Whips out his weapons and look how clean this frame is. Straight evil in his eyes. He's Damn. about to good. Pushes my son off the counter and starts emoting his <laughs> weapons on him and everything. You already know he finna put this one on the gram. Just folded this nigga puss in boots. His boots not even real. I saw the Jordan logo oh, doing God. a cartwheel. But puss draws up a genius plan. Hmm. He sprinted directly at death the first time and it didn't work. So he decided, you know what? Hmm. That shit didn't work. Let me try it again. <laughs> Jumping onto a chandelier, spinning over like Patrick the Star, and that. yeah, that did not work. That no. was a terrible plan, gang. Bad eats. Got his hand around his throat and starts whispering to him on some kinky shit. Yeah. Aren't you a hero? All I could smell is bitch in here. <laughs> Uses his face as a sponge to clean the counter and chucks bro into a chair. And at this point, I'm just thinking to myself, damn. Puss is really getting fucked up, but I'm mean, not mm -hmm. even wanting to believe yeah. it for real. Got me trying to rationalize it like, nah. Death just caught him lacking, tweaking off the sauce. My son a little drunk right now. He gonna sober up soon, though. All Puss can really do at this point is just try to avoid getting ripped apart. But <laughs> Death is really on him OD. And then it happens. <laughs> Death lands a hit. Knocks off Gato's yeah. hat, which is already a violation. Ooh. Fucking with the drip is a no-no. And gave my son a lineup that he really ain't asked for. <laughs> and can we give a round of applause for the animators real quick? Yes, Look at yes. how they conveyed the horror that Puss is feeling in this moment. I'm a dog person, and even I feel terrible for bro. Yes. Shrek, donkey, gingerbread man, somebody come help him, please. <laughs> I love the smell of bitch ass niggas. <laughs> but then I thought the tides were about oh, to change. Shit. Puss starts catching flashbacks yeah. of his life all up until this point. And I'm thinking to myself, oh yeah, movies only do this when the character is about to get in their bag. <laughs> it's over for death. Death kicks the sword next to Puss and starts selling pick it up. Pick it up, no famous decks. Listen, I know Puss and Boots got knocked down, but he gonna get back up and run the fade again, right? Wrong, my son hit the dash and skedaddled to the bathroom with an insane quickness. The writers definitely subverted my expectations. Yeah, seriously, I man. Was about to go super this was an I was awesome fight. thinking this was his krilling getting popped like a pinata, causing Goku's rage moment, but no. And at this point, I'm thinking, I right, Puss gonna have to start writing out some notes for Donkey to add to the eulogy real soon. <laughs> yeah. This was a brave cat. He wanted me to tell you that you should have seen it. It was like 17 niggas, and he stood two paws, <laughs> ten toes down. Never tried to run once. But the animation is awesome. It was awesome, this. Death opens the door and sees that Puss got away. He managed to escape out the back of the suit. Is that the power music Death from Spider-Verse? Death a whooping so life-changing, he decided to switch career paths. Turned him into a track star, sent him out of town. I saw this monster going on Peacock. By the way, a few moments later. So Death got chased on artists on Hall of Fame, managing to hunt Puss and Boots down, and ain't no running away this time. Oh. And this is how you really know that he's sick in the head. Love this because, fight, bro. I love this why fight. Why are you spinning the block? You won. <laughs> Everybody else confused as hell, looking around, talking about some who's that. But Puss already <laughs> knows that's the sound of an ass whooping coming his way. <laughs> and now Death is using mental tactics, trying to get in Bro's head. For context, this thing that Puss is holding in his hand is a wish. You really gonna be a bitch and use that? paper to wish for more lives or are you gonna fight dog wolf tiger rhinoceros it don't matter me personally i'm not letting somebody come out here and show me up like this yeah. <laughs> this at his feet and start telling him to pick it up again but my son puss and boots knows that the hose is out here this time he gotta lock in not just that but one of the bros out here too if i get my shit folded this going in the group chat for sure i can't let that happen puss starts having flashbacks of him and his homie and his girlfriend all chilling together and decides you know what i need my run back i can go outside back to back or else my street cred is closed they start 
are charging towards each other, showing off their 50 inch verticals, clashing in mid air to kick it off. And I'm gonna have to slow some of this down for y'all because if not, it's gonna be like the fact that Stevie Wonder was courts at a game. It's pointless, you can't Damn. see anything that's happening. Puss goes to stab his dick and is blocked, jumps <laughs> over the slash attack, and then does a block himself. And as he's turned around, he hits death with that <laughs> no look block from behind. The way they're fighting right now, you wouldn't think that these niggas started beefing yesterday. This looked like a 40 year old feud built up or something. Well, I guess for death it kind of was. He was sitting there watching Puss and Boots waste away all eight of his lives like yeah. there's nothing raging. They're just taking turns fighting and weaving each other's attacks. Got the crowd in disbelief. Until Puss decides, <laughs> you know back. what? It's time to hit L2 and R2 and <laughs> activate his ultimate. <laughs> But it's gonna take a lot more than that. Death's bag is deep. There's a reason he's the guy hired to send everybody to the gulag. Bro starts flexing, doing all type of theatrics, combining his two weapons, and look at Puss in Boots' face, bruh. But this new staff must have given him an attribute boost because he started cooking up like crazy. Show us. Towards him and he has bro playing Jeez. the greatest defense of his life. Then starts fucking with the drip again, <laughs> which is OD, son. Dog, how you gonna beat my ass and then also force me to order a new fit off Amazon? Pick a violation. Jumps up in the air, lands, cut the cape, fucks up his jays, and knocks his hat clean Damn. off his head, and then bops him in the chest, knocking the wind out of him for sure, making him <laughs> barrel roll backwards, so now it's gotta be GG's, right? Started walking out the theater thinking to myself, damn, who they about to replace Puss in Boots with in Shrek 5? Hmm. But Death is in his 2016 Warriors bag because he about to blow a 3-1 lead. Starts walking down on Puss in Boots and delivers an attack that's supposed to take Bro's head clean off. But last minute, on some shot clock cheese, Puss in Boots whips out his baby ass butter knife and is able to block the attack. And of course, picks up his hat in the process, that's a must. Only and get a fresh cut in weeks, you don't have to expose a game like that. Dodging another slash, not making him to get his sword back to put an end to these shenanigans. Kitty is watching with straight hard eyes and Puss already knows, oh yeah, I'm finna go home to the silliest head. She finna have me hitting the Jordan logo tonight. And then this is when Gato decides to just go on the offensive crazy. He clearly sat up in his chair or decided to give the controller to his big brother because this is a whole new man. He continues to dodge and weave a bunch of attacks until he's able to cut that staff in half. Look at his face. In all his years of controlling the census, nobody has been able to do this to him before. Yep. Puss then starts charging towards him to finish off the job, which Death is able to block. But peep this frame, this is an exact callback to the first fight. Yep, movie, so was. But this time the roles are reversed. Death yep. then decides to throw Puss in the sky, but that was the worst mistake he could have made. Low IQ play from him. <laughs> because Puss and Boots saw that contract that the Saudi Arabian team offered him up, and he trying to get signed real soon. He lands and kicks the shit out of Death in the forehead, knocking him back 20 feet, rolling on the ground. But you already know he had to add a cherry on top, give Death a taste of his own medicine. Mm -hmm. Pick it up. Pick it up. <laughs> but Death gets up and he looks at Gato and he's like, you know what? I look you fuck with you, gang. I'm gonna let you live. Go ahead and enjoy your life with your family. But I'll be back. Hmm. Man, yeah, man. What a way to end it, man. man. Well, Puss and Boots Last Quest was definitely one of the best movies of Shrek Universe, hands down. It has to be the best Shrek Universe movie since the um since Shrek 2, honestly. Like, damn man. This movie really, really exceeded my expectations. Seriously did. Just from the Spider-Verse look to it, um, the action, you know, the the intensity the movie had. I mean, this was one of the most the most darkest in the Shrek universe. Like, man. I love this movie the hell. But I seen this on Peacock months ago. I'm not so sure if it's on Peacock anymore, I'm not too sure, but um yeah yeah this was last wish y'all highly recommend seeing that but this was a w video w video blank boy yes i love the commentary the ending it's just like man he always kills it with it so yes hot squad Whew, that was the golden one. That was a golden one. So, Hot Squad, there you have it. That was my reaction with Blake Boys, Pussles Last Rush Recap. And man, oh man, Death the Wolf was hands down one of the greatest animated villains I've seen in a while. And honestly, he's arguably the best villain in the Shrek universe. By far, definitely by far. And it's like, man, he was he was something else, man. He was such a badass. And I freaking loved it for that. You know, the animation, like I said before, the animation, absolutely stellar. You know, took inspirations with Spider-Verse and Arcane. And it's like, dang, man, DreamWorks, DreamWorks was killing it. They were, they were killing it, man. I was like, dang, man, um, that ending, man, that ending with um, Far, Far Away, 
Spoiler alerts, by the way, if you've not seen Pussy Blast Squish, I highly recommend seeing it. It is amazing. Definitely one of the greatest animation movies of all time. So, yeah, man, that, that, man, that ending, when, um, Puss, Kitty, and, I think Pedro was his name, the little chihuahua, if I pronounce him if I'm wrong, um, they were going to set the fall far away. It's like, oh, my God, yeah, so, we're getting Shrek 5, y'all, we're getting Shrek 5, so, We'll see if it's true. So, Hot Squad, yes, if you enjoyed my reaction, please hit the like button. Comment, subscribe, share your thoughts. What is your favorite movies in the Trek universe? Have you seen The Last Wish? What you thought about it? You know. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned because I have another Blake Bar reaction I've been really looking forward to check out. And that is, of course, the Deadpool recap. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned.